My name is Farwood Kokabi. I am the designer of Algiers, There Is No Year. We met in school at Georgia State doing design. In design school were, was when the seeds of us playing music together, doing art, collaborating on stuff together began, but also where the seeds of Geographic North were first planted, I feel like. But I'm gonna ask you to walk me th through that, if you can recall, just because I don't even know whatever the in inscripted history of the origin story is. Yeah. I think it's kind of blurred at this point, to be honest with you. It's gone through a lot of um, spicing up, for lack of better terms. But um, I was working at WRAS with uh, Farzad, who also plays in Lyonnais. Um, and Farzad was the music director at the time, and I believe I was an assistant music director. Um, but also, you know, studying graphic design with you. And uh, we had all these connections to different artists through the radio station. And, you know, I think gradually Farzad and I kind of strengthen our relationship. Same interest in film and you know, obviously music and arts and whatnot, and counterculture in general. And I think he initially came up with the idea of putting out a seven inch um, with, I think it was a sunny day in Glasgow ended up being our first yeah that was that was our first one um but i think you know he was really enthusiastic about them and um and yeah that was that was the beginning of it and i think you were smack dab in the middle of it and we were trying to figure out our band and whatnot yeah i think that's the thing with what, all of the ideas that we've ever had They're, they all were just more uh, the idea was more romantic same thing with the record label you know it just seemed like cool thing to do. And I, I know that kind of trivializes it to some extent, but that's where your head's at. To date, like you definitely, I mean, it, it has a very specific identity visually and musically. Um, it's just like a, it's a very, for lack of a better word, like singular thing. Like it has a very singular presence in a way, um, admirably so. But was that your intention? Or did you have like a real specific like idea? I mean, I feel like at the time there's bound to be a vision. There's probably some inkling of an idea of what I wanted it to be. But I, I really don't think we knew what we were doing when we first started. I don't think anyone knows what they're doing when they first start. You, you're excited and you have all of these influences up until that moment, you know, and then you have to execute. In this case, you know, it's visual design of a record, you know? It's now representing the band, it's representing the label, representing yourself as an artist. I had no idea what I was doing. And, and I think that was kind of the beauty of the early stuff is that it was all shots in the dark. You know, you're trying to get a foothold on what, you know, you want to mean to other people, what you want to mean to the audience, to the whole, uh, ecosystem of counterculture. You know, you're putting out a seven inch record and you're adorning it with whatever, you know, color blocks, typography, or it's this thing that, you know, you're, you're just trying your hardest to achieve some sort of balance of uh, you know, something evocative, something uh, you know, effortless, all that good stuff. And we didn't know what it was. And I think as our tastes develop, as we got, um, as we got a sort of routine down with putting out records, with putting out tapes, it became less about the manufacturing of it, the bureaucracy of you know going between the bands and you know getting permission to do something or another. It became more about hey the actual output. You know, let's invest some time into thinking about how we can look at this all in totality and be you know, blown away by it, impressed by it. And I think that's always what um, excited me is, you know, let's look at it as a whole. So, you know, seven inch series that we started with, uh, 
you start seeing rhythms, you start seeing overlapping ideas. I think the back of the seven inches themselves were a template, a sort of very gridded Joseph Mueller Brockman kind of template. And um, you know, that kind of uh, binds them all together to be this one thing, it's a system. And uh, that stuff is really, you know, sexy to me. That stuff is the real heart of it. It's like, how can you make sense of all these desperate pieces and, and put them together to tell this longer narrative? And the narrative ends up being the label in this case, you know? And so, yeah, as we got our experience, as we got our footing, I think we started to understand what we really wanted to do with the visual arts, with the music itself, with all of our communication.